It sounds like the plot in a science fiction movie. An asteroid is hurtling toward Earth at 17,400 miles per hour. It's estimated to be 150 feet across, and it arrives today. But this asteroid is all science and no fiction. It isn't large enough to cause an extinction event, but it is large enough to level a city of millions. The good news is that this asteroid, known by the less than snappy moniker of 2012 DA-14, is not on a collision course with Earth. But it's close. In terms of celestial bodies, it's very close. That's just the sort of thing that encourages Jim Wentworth to leave the cozy confines of his home south of Niswa to sit in an even cozier observatory. And how, how concerned should people be about this? No, no concern whatsoever. None. No, because it's 22,000 miles close to the approach. So it's going to be way off. It's way, it's not even, they don't even have to worry about it. So long as we don't know that about, that's <laughs> that's the one you want to be worried about, the ones we don't know about. You see what I mean? 571,000 asteroids. Right there. There they all are. Okay? And these are all plotted in... Out in the sky. That's okay. our actual positions out in the sky right now. Now I'll show you the virtual solar system here. I'll show you. Go here. And there you see the main asteroid belt. See them all? So here's the orbit of Earth. Okay, now I don't have them all plotted on. I'll plot them all. Uh, there it is. <laughs> that's that's all 500 and that's all 500 and uh, 71,000 asteroids in the solar system right there. Isn't that amazing? They're out there. I mean, they're all over. These, These things are small. There could be uh, just a few feet across to you know, 100 feet across, 200 to kilometers across.